Hi guys, Mike here again. Hope is alive. Hope has a name. Hope's name is Jesus. Just want to touch. We're touching on healing for a period of time, and because um, there's some really good healing scriptures, especially um, that I've been reading in my devotions. Uh, but James chapter 5, is any among you in trouble? Verse 13, let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. It's a good foundation. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. And there's a, a context there in the Greek that... Um, is he that the person is actually sick of sin that uh, he's been constantly sinning and uh, and that's why he's physically not well or they're physically not well it um, relates to 1 corinthians eleven thirty, where paul says why are so many of you weak and tired and even asleep it's because of um, your weakness and and uh, because of sin um, and in this case the the person here in james can't go to church because of the sickness so he asks for the spiritual leaders to come to him and pray over him. So it's not just a physical sickness, but it's also a, a sense of a moral sickness in there as well. It actually says somewhere else that he's weary. He's tired out. Uh, in 1 Thessalonians 5.14, the leaders of the church are instructed to encourage the timid and to help the weak. Uh, Paul said, come on, you know, encourage the timid, help the weak, get them up again. Um, there's a, a word um, Ali Alep Santes, um, which means to anoint. And, you know, sometimes we get a little bit of oil on the edge of our finger and we go, oh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But it doesn't mean that. It means actually to rub in. It means to anoint. It means to rub with oil. It's a sacred and religious word. It's not a ceremonial touch on the top of the head. It actually means to bestow honor and it means to uh, bring refreshment and to provide grooming. Remember the context of um, when you're fasting, don't walk around like, oh, I'm tired, I'm so hungry, but to put oil on your face and groom yourself properly. It's the same root, root word that the woman who anointed Jesus' feet uh, with oil in Luke 7. Um, and the same again, the host who uh, anointed with oil, um, his guest later on in Luke 7, 46. Um, it's a thing about not being sad, but it's, um, it's, it's grooming up. It's been refreshed. It's been encouraged. It's been uplifted by the elders. So if any of you is not well today, just ask the Lord and say, come on, what do I need to do? Do I need the elders around here to anoint me with oil? Um, and make sure that they just don't tap you on the head. Make sure you get a good grooming, a good refreshing and a good uplifting. Hope that encourages you today. Bless you heaps. See ya.